Hello YouTube world, this is Monica from uh, Books and Beauty with Monica. Um, I wanted to do a rant video kind of of a book because I'm about to start driving so I'm not going to look at the screen. But I just figured it was on my mind. We can do it while I'm driving home. No biggie. Um, anyways, you like my makeup today? I actually put an effort. Happy Valentine's for everybody. But anyway, so uh, like I said, I'm going to start driving so don't expect me to look at the screen all that much but anyways i wanted to do a rant video just because so i feel bamboozled absolutely bamboozled because i just finished credence from penelope douglas and i will say i like the book don't get me wrong i like the book but the way that people <laughs> were making it seem was as if this book is gonna be the raunchiest like book taboo like this is basically porn on a book like in a book form and I don't know if maybe I could just handle a lot or what but this book was not that bad I was like I kept expecting it to get like tremendously worse and it never did so let's go to the scenario so we're following a girl she just lost her parents because her parents are selfish little assholes and one of them is dying from cancer and the other one can't live without him so they decide to do like murder suicide type of situation so they're dead they leave their child they don't even leave her a note like she literally is like they never even left me a note and she ends up getting a call from her uncle that she has never met that's not technically her uncle it's an uncle by like marriage it's like her dad's stepbrother so they're not related and I, i'm gonna get to the point of why i say that but so she's never met him but i guess in like the will or whatever um she he was deemed as her like you know trustee that like if anything were to happen she would go to him and stuff like that so he calls her up and he's like hey i know you never met me but like i've been told that i'm gonna take care of you and stuff like that but he basically gives her the option because he's like you know if you don't want to come here because she's like i think like two months from being like 18 or something like that that he's like i'm not gonna make you move if you're good and settled but she decides to go because i think she they're from like Los Angeles like her parents are kind of like famous people so she decides to go because they live in Colorado like all the way up in the mountains so she's like I'm gonna go because I need to get away from here and she's kind of a her personality is a little bit different because so her parents kind of didn't love her mainly by their actions they didn't do anything like mean to her it's just they never gave her attention like she could just tell that like they didn't really want me like they love each other i'm more of a inconvenience a thing that they thought they needed to do and then they realized i wasn't welcomed so like she's kind of been a somewhat loner because of that well anyways so she goes to colorado she meets her uncle they already kind of have somewhat of a tension between each other she goes there uh, she meets one of her cousins um, and, and they start getting really already overly protective like literally they go into town and the dad or the uncle's already like don't you look at them and like don't ever talk to them and everything like that and it's like dude calm down like you don't even know this girl <laughs> but like he's getting overly protective and she meets one of her cousins Noah so it's Jake is the uncle Noah is one of the cousins and then Caleb is the other one so she meets one of the cousins and the other cousin is not around they're like oh he went out hunting he may be gone for a while when he goes out hunting he doesn't come back for a while so getting settled you know it's kind of awkward like I said they've never met each other and like the cousins i think like are in their early 20s and then of course the uncle i'm assuming is like 40 or something like that and she then meets the second 
cousin. And this is the only part that I will agree with is kind of messed up. Like I agree this part is messed up. But basically she meets him. She goes to the garage, I guess, for something. And he rolls up and literally doesn't say anything. He starts to try to like mount her, like straight up gets her, like touches her and everything. And she's at first she's kind of like almost like accepting it. And then she realized like, yo, no, like stop. <laughs> and she kind of tells him like yo stop and he doesn't stop and the other cousin Noah has to come in and is like hey get off of her that's the cousin remember she was coming like she's not a townie which I'm like I guess this is a regular thing that like you know girls come up there and they get fucked without even being asked if they want to get fucked and then this is when you find out he's a mute he does not talk he can talk but he does not talk which is like okay and you find out why so anyways fast forward she's going to school and whatnot she runs into a guy from like town that like pretty much almost rapes her too like he's kind of like yo i want to have you before anybody else does and blah 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 and that's when they get mad at her again they're like yo I told you not to talk to nobody like she's like uh i'm kind of grown i can if i want to i mean she's 17 but she's about to turn 18 and like think of like a week so she's like i can do what i want in a way well time goes by again her birthday comes they go into town they go to a bar and then they get into a fight with the locals because yet again guys are trying to touch her and caleb the one that doesn't talk literally like starts a brawl so they get out of there they go to the house and this is when winter is happening so it's like really bad weather or something like that so the winter is starting and this is when it gets taboo so winter is starting they're not going to see civil civilization for like the next three to four months because once it starts winter it's very dangerous to go down the mountain and to also come up the mountain so they start to start hunting because that's what you do they take her to go hunting and she doesn't want to but they're basically like yo you got to learn you're gonna be up here you got to learn how to hunt so she does she kills one of the deers or something like that but she doesn't want to like cut it up so she's just like so the uncle's like that's fine tells the two boys go get it we'll go back and everything like that like you did enough today like you least killed it so you know you did your part this is when the uncle and his little niece which remind you they're not related by blood he deflowers her which is fine he deflowers her in the truck and then they end up going back to the house and fuck some more like they have like a fuck this and everything like that so it's like okay basically noah which he's my least favorite character basically gets upset that the dad had her because he's like well what if we wanted her and it was just like excuse me like why are you so entitled like if she wants to bone the dad like you'll be just fine like don't be mad because he picked she picked him and not you like he's very entitled like he's like my least favorite because he's kind of a whiny little boy well time goes on the dad leaves for some reason. I forgot what it was. He he left for some reason. He said he's gonna be gone for a few days. This is when this is when it gets a little crazy because so dad's gone a day, one freaking day, and already she has a two a threesome with the two brothers. So she really just want. This is the funny part. She only wants to fuck Caleb. She doesn't actually want to fuck Noah, but she like Noah like calls dibs on her. So then he fucks her and then Caleb and basically like, you know, does anal. So like, you know, double penetration and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, this is like, this is a scene that I'm assuming everybody's talking about. So she fucks both of them. The next morning the dad comes and she tells him like, oh, something happened. And then the dad just accepts it. He's just like, well, did they treat you well? And she's like, yeah, they did. He's like, okay, then <laughs> like, okay he just accepts it he's like it's fine <laughs> and then the next so then the next day 
she sleeps with Caleb, which you kind of you start to get the inkling of like who she's gonna end up being with. She's gonna be with Caleb, even though he doesn't talk. She somehow they have a connection regardless, and she ends up finding out the reason he's mute is because the mom like was kind of like a druggie and took him when she went to go pick up and left him in the car for four days so he after that like he kind of just shut down and from like age four he's never talked again after this experience he's just never done it so they kind of have a relationship like they're actually kind of together like they've made it kind of official it's caleb and her they're good they're happy well finally the snow goes away and they go into town well, while they're in town and they're all cutesy and lovey, there's a girl that shows up that he was, I guess, supposedly fucking with before, like, you know, everything, you know, the snow went down, shows up pregnant. And she's like, oh, yeah, you probably wondering what, you know, doing the math and everything like that. Like, yeah, we'll be talking to you later and stuff like that. So she gets really upset and she's like yo did you know about this and of course he doesn't say anything she's like say something or do something something like shake your head whatever she's like i need to know did you know about this and he won't say anything he won't even like like i said shake his head no nothing so she gets really pissed off because she's just like so like you know she's basically thinking like you know i won't be the per first person to have your baby and then like if you knew about this and you didn't tell me she's like at least if he didn't know she'd feel better because she would be like well it's still sucky but like you didn't know but he won't indicate that he just didn't know so she's getting all pissed off and her kind of caretaker from when she lived in los angeles shows up and as soon as she shows up um, she wasn't gonna go with her right then and there she was like hey you know go to a hotel and I'll like I'll see you in a little bit like I just got to do something well Caleb ends up taking her bag and opening the door and like throws like her stuff in the car which she takes like oh okay like fine I'll go then so she leaves goes to LA with the caretaker i think it used to be like her old maid or something like that i forgot but like she's been with the family like this whole entire time so like it's like her friend in a way so she goes to la and she hasn't heard from any of them she hasn't heard from any of them and then time goes on she sees noah noah apparently is now a racer which is what he wanted to do he got some sponsors so he's a racer and he's like yeah i was in town for that and i wanted to see you apparently jake also came with him and like saw her and then like all excited about there was like a swing set in front of the house and turns out it was uh caleb that put it in there and then he finally talks he finally talks and it's just like you know i love you and i'm so sorry and like the baby wasn't his and all types of stuff so like everything's good flash bet flash to like five years later it shows their life and like you know they got a kid together he's now talking vocally now she graduated from like college like everything is like hunky-dory and then that's the book okay so my question is how is this the most taboo jaw dropping erotica that you'll ever controversial novel that you'll ever read how there was three sex scenes one was with the uncle second one was a uh, threesome and then the next one after that was with the guy that she ends up being with anyways Caleb tell me what the taboo is tell me where the most raunchy shit was like okay because she slept with all three of them okay yeah that, that is a little a little weird oh because she had a threesome okay so like because she slept with the uncle because he's uh, like of eight like you know way older than her okay like i don't see the taboo in this there wasn't even like any like tying up no nothing and then the fact that like i wouldn't understand if this was actual incest if this was incest then yeah ooh, you're crossing the line but it's like they're not related by blood 
whatsoever and they didn't grow up with each other because i can understand the whole also kind of growing up with each other and being like you know relatives but i'm like they've never met they've never met so to me i'm kind of like i don't understand how this was like the most taboo controversial like oh this is such a bad book it's like no it wasn't <laughs> i feel so bamboozled and i mean it's fine i like the book i actually like the book i just kept waiting for it to get ridiculous i was like yo are she gonna fuck all three of them that was like i was waiting for that moment i was like and then it never happened because the dad never like once she declared that she slept with the boys he never tried again he never pressured her no nothing and then once it was clear that like caleb it was like like caleb got really big feelings and like kind of claimed her like no one ever even tried and it was just kind of like i just don't understand the tabooness and it's so funny because it's just like <laughs> i'm like am i wrong am i sick in the head like am i supposed to be more shocked than i am because i wasn't but you know i'm glad I, I i consumed it the only part that i can agree with with this being wrong was the part with caleb basically about to rape her like straight up he was very close until like the brother came in and was like oh she's not a townie he was like okay but she did say like uh stop and no like about five times other than that i'm like i don't see i don't see it but i mean <laughs> I don't know i i wish somebody would tell me or explain to me because i'm like i feel i feel like i'm dirty i'm like am i a dirty girl because i'm like i didn't see what the big hoopla was about <laughs> like i don't know but anyways let me stop ranting i'm almost out the house anyways so uh you know like subscribe hope you enjoyed my my rant and i'm curious if anybody agrees with me bye